so with refuge field paintings, they really, uh, in terms of art, uh, scroll work paintings, it's not so clear about mur murals, but for scroll work paintings, it's really the Gelupa tradition that really promoted and created a large number of, uh, of works. So, and this was in the, uh, it's in the 17th century, but we don't really see a lot of paintings until the 18th, 19th, and 20th century. So it's a very, very new development in, uh, in Tibetan art and, and iconography. So yes, we, we had um, <clears throat> references in, in <clears throat> literature, but it, we didn't have the paintings until much later. So the Gelugpa tradition, primarily coming from the uh, Panchen Lama, uh, Panchen uh, Chuki Gyaltsen, so in the 17th century, he, he wrote a text which, which basically laid out a, a ritual for the visualization and the worship of the entire field of accumulation of the Gelugpa tradition. Now, the Gelugpas have more um, formats. They, they have a number of different uh, styles. The, the, the first, one of the more, more common, is uh, Shakyamuni Buddha at the center, uh, and then the the lineage on the uh, di the direct lineage uh, above the central figure, and then the uh, Yogachar and Madhyamaka lineages on either side, which combined um, kind of make up the Lamrim lineage um, of the Gelug tradition. So the second is uh, Tsongkhapa at the center, and this is more of a, of a guru puja. This is more of a of a Lama Chopa uh, Tsongkhapa. So it's the same format between the Shakyamuni Buddha at the center and Tsongkhapa. It's the same format around. But then we have we have another type. We have uh, we have a lotus support, and this is this appears to come more from uh, Tashi Lumpo Monastery in in Shigatse. It's, it's more a Panchen Labran kind of uh, concept, where you have the entire uh, field of accumulation uh, laid out arranged on, on a flat, uh, gigantic lotus with the uh, guru in the middle and then all of the, the, the lineage and Buddhas and Sangha and meditational deities surrounding. Then you have a kind of a block print, what appears to be a block print image, but again based on a Tashi Lumpo design because it's very much to do with the pension lamas, uh, where they're arranged in a much more of a circular manner, and they're not—they do not have designated uh, areas as they they do with the Shakyamuni and Tsongkhapa uh, formats. Then we have another type. We have uh, the Pabonka, uh, Pabonka Decha Ningpo, a very very uh, um, important lama of the early 20th century for the Gelugpa, and he designed his own refuge field, which is extremely became extremely uh, popular, and uh, and he even claims uh, it is said that it, that he he looked at many many different types of refuge fields and then he designed this one based on the best elements of these others and the pabonka design uh, is is can be recognized right away because it has these vertical uh, tiers of of teachers descending above the central figure and and above them are the main uh, meditational deities of the Gelugpa tradition, like Guya Samaja, uh, Vajra Bhairava, Chakra Sambara, etc. Uh, and then you have open landscape, another format where where there is no there is no tree, there's no lotus, there's no palace. It's just uh, all of the of the um, figures from the field of accumulation are arranged on just an open landscape. So we have many different designs uh, of Geluga refuge field paintings. <clears throat>